In this video we are going to look at further coping and cutting. So we are going to look at uh, this particular item. We are going to look at uh, distance, create distance between beams. Uh, we are going to look at uh, this particular one and also this one. This one I could not get to work. So here is a set of beams which I have already drawn and let us try to shorten this, this end. So here is the shorten tool so I am going to click on that, click on the beam and then it comes up with that it says 100. Ok let me accept 100 and uh, escape so that is 100 shortening. Okay, double click that one and you can see a y is 10 degrees it's a degree and it is let's check that one so I'm going to use uh, the view toolbar quick views and I'm going to look at the beam from uh, from the side so I click on that one I click on the beam and then it's asking for a direction to view let me select that one hit enter I'm going to accept a view depth of a thousand space bar space bar space bar and here is the view which has opened up in that direction so you can see that one and uh, I go and view okay let's check the 10 degrees so I'm going to draw a couple of lines here like that and that line 10 degrees that's the angle which has come up here 10 degrees if I change it to 20 and you can see that angle changes to 20 degrees here another thing to notice is how much it is shortened say that double click that one you can see that a reference is 100 that is a total uh, length reduction is 100 shortening is 100 that is along the center line and then the angle is measured from the center line so the total beam length actually here to the center is what is mentioned here as 100 the next tool we are going to look at is the beam clearance which is this tool what it does is it brings the distance between the two beams to a specified distance which we can also it will bring the end point of the second beam which is being moved to the center line of the first beam actually the third beam so let's try that one so click that button select a reference beam press enter sec second beam press center now the last beam is the beam which is going to be moved so I'm going to click this one this is the beam which will be moved so I select that press enter it prompts for a distance I am entering a distance of 400 and you can see the beam has shorted to the center line of the first beam and it has moved and this distance should now be 400 let us check and you can see that dimension is 400 now between the extremities of the beams and this point has moved to the center line of the first beam the last tool we are going to look at in this tutorial is the parametric cope tool so to use that click on that tool <coughs> select the main beam press enter and then select the beam to be coped and creates a cope. You can me measure the parameter values by putting dimensions in here and these are the dimensions. So I double click that join box and look at the parameters so you can see the dimensions which is 1 is that 10 and uh, 3 is also 10. You can switch on to the side view and check the other parameters as well using a quick view. Uh, that one this one and hit enter 
and then comes up and you can measure these dimensions as well. 